you think carefully and see how God save you from this Ebola and see how God protects you and keep you from Ebola. Believe it or not, we'll take the rest of the year praising God for ending this Ebola. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Arthur Pratt. I am a filmmaker, a pastor, and also a human rights activist. Now, I work at Wion TV, of which I'm a, a co-founder, and um, I'm also directly in charge of um, education. In your performance, in your performance, you get forward for being creative. Wion TV is a youth-based um, project that seeks to educate youth using video or filmmaking as a means of self-expression. We think um, the importance of information and for missing well and pass on the right information and also think of how you pass on information to make somebody able for understand you, but not only for understanding, but also able for see something, also able to talk something. When the Ebola started in 2014, it was a surprise because by then the political tension was heightening. People were calling for the president to um, seek a third term. And then suddenly we started getting rumors about people in the provinces dying, people um, getting um, sick of um, Ebola. Then rumors started, you know, coming up. People begin to point fingers. There were different conspiracy theories. No to Ebola. I say Ebola no real. I say Ebola no real. Like cannibalism. Yes. These messages of killing, of death, you know, creates panic. It creates serious panic. There was serious chaos. You know, people lose confidence in the health system. Already, many Sahelians do not have confidence in our um, local health system. So the, 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 the small percentage of confidence that was left was completely gone before you know what was happening. In the face of this chaos, I came to the office one day and um, um, I was thinking about how we can help, you know, to remedy this um, problem because I do know that um, Ebola does not kill all everyone it's infect. This is from history. If you go back to the documents in 1976, you find out that um, um, people were infected, people survived it. And so you do understand that um, um, there is a way to survive. And um, we all also understand that the, the, the message, the way the message went out is the reason for the chaos. And another problem is that um, um, the government took upon itself to empower parliamentarians, you know, paramount chiefs, um, community-based organizations with funding, you know, to take the message of Ebola. But the manner in which these people took this message out also created problem. The message was not taken out seriously. People don't seem to believe it because of the way the message came down to them. You know, th these are some of the, the, the flaws that we saw in the organization and then we decided to come out with, um, first of all, a video that addresses the most frequent or usual questions being asked about Ebola. Ebola and a sickness in Ogre, one red sector of Motorman. Be you all or small. Where he catch you now for kill you? How are you going to say passenger Ebola? Um, let go there, Pui. Amen. Where person get Ebola? Embody the one bad, bad one. You ate the heart. You're going to add fast, fast. Then you go put body to begin pull crock crock. When this clip got on SLBC, uh, I also saw the need to um, create confidence in people for the local health system. The people need 
to uh, um, to to rebuild their confidence in the health system. So I then recreate um, a situation in which um, you have an Ebola survivor who comes out and tells a story, and so the Asan character comes into play. I mean, I'm Asan. I'm telling this. I am born. I am man. And I am at the do my business. I'm married and I get one picking. My wife name Awa. One day, my mama go begging in the other tongue. So when he come, he come with serious sick. In not one week, my mama die. He not say, now myself self, I for don't pan sick. We be no hear about this Ebola sick. So I've been afraid because people then they talk all kind of boku, 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 boku talk concerning this sick we make. Person they even forget say for going at the hospital. Who say person forget in well body one. And again they say this sick here he know the men. So what's not the use for the person going at the hospital? But you know when you get where we get sense, your family safe. So one day my wife be put me down. He explained to me. He say government's not full for sending people in hospital. If you go hospital quick, then go give you treatment so we help you for make you well. But if you see them and make gangayes, you go die. And we self go get the sick. And we self go die. This story was like a boom on the SLBC. It goes international. Even the BBC um, radio at some point um, played extract from um, Asan, the Ebola survivor. And so because Asan comes out with this raw Ebola experience of somebody who's been infected, gone through the treatment and comes out and survive, you know, we begin to see um, uh, um, people, the impact was quick. For me, I think uh, um, the, the issue of delay is our greatest obstacle in the fight against Ebola, the issue of bureaucracy, the delay within the government system to have um, um, important information go out to the people, you know, has been our greatest problem. But we did overcome all of this by, you know, being patient with the system and ensuring that we persevere. I think perseverance is the right word. As a Sierra Leonean, I think it's my responsibility to ensure that I played my own part to see that the lives of Sierra Leoneans are saved. For me, um, saving life is very, very important. Governments no want to kill you. Governments no want to make salon people then suffer. Governments want to make salon people and get well body and better life. So as for me, I the only listen to waiting government say, waiting the well body uh, uh, people then they talk. And waiting the chief, they tell we. Now you know more, I they listen. I know they listen to no rumor. We know very well that we have the equipment, we have the capabilities, we have the know-how. We should do what we must do to get information out to our people. The motivation is to ensure that Sierra Leone come out of this darkness. We need to ensure that our people survive and they tell the story.